He wasn't the one on the Nimitz. Gonky is actually the most pro Are alien you in person this in happened? this chat. Were you really? Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. What's up? Welcome to Lado Files. Thanks for being here. This is a quick video. I subscribed to CW Lemoyne. He goes by Mover. He's an F-16 pilot among other pilots, makes YouTube videos. I watch him from time to time. And recently I just caught this Mover and Gonky show on this one. Quite interesting. They're reviewing the hearings. Two hour long plus uh, video here. But towards the beginning, minute 19, it comes out that this guy in the bottom, Wombat, is actually an E-2 pilot. And he was on the Nimitz. On the Nimitz when it happened back in November 2004. So he goes through and actually they uh, asked some good questions. Mover asked some good questions. Mover was initially skeptical watching the hearings. He said he feels like a conspiracy theorist now because he thinks it's not aliens. So he doesn't believe the government. So anyway, check out this interview. Thanks for being here. Please like and subscribe. Thanks to Mover. Go check out his channel. Link in the description. Yes, sir. Oh boy, he, Wombat's minute, about to go to Congress. Minutes? Yeah, oh. he was in 41. I was in the Wall Bangers. Yeah. There's a whole book called Treason Flight on this. Go buy it. Let's, was that wait, shameless? Does Treason Flight have aliens now? I don't know. Go buy the book. Hold on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> TRMatson.com. Go buy a book. Seriously, re tell us more. What's there to tell yeah. you? It was Start talking. It happened, and it was off the coast of San Diego, and it was a big deal on the ship, obviously, as you can imagine. And then it got covered up very, 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 very quickly on the ship. Okay, very quickly. That hypothetically speaking, you. since at the time, how about now? Did you see aliens? That's what he wants to know. He's trying to ask you, hypothetically, did you encounter aliens or see them on that big domey radar thing you got spinning above your noggin? Go. I can neither confirm nor deny that. Oh, come on. Ah, come dude. on. <laughs> is this how your book is ah. written, too? Is it just nothing but just frustration? I think you should know because you've read it, right? Or at least I have read it. You've read it. Okay. So there was no aliens that I read no, about. No, no. It was a it was a it was a big deal on the ship. It was very much so. <laughs> what Rocky's gonna be afraid to speak at this entire episode I know. because I know. he doesn't know if his thing's gonna work or not. You didn't you know I was on the Nimitz with forty one and I did that was kind of know. I dude. I did know you were on the Nimitz. I just I thought, we I thought that was before your time. It was right around the same time. Yeah, it was all the same time. CAG 11, 117. Were you on that workup? I think so, yeah. It's been a while, man, but yeah, I think so. Were you airborne? No. I was not. Oh. So, Did you know who was airborne? Of course, dude. There's uh, like three pilots in a E2 squadron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. No, I don't, I don't think we had anything. Uh, airborne at the time so it was it was it was weird man i, I was real new think. to the squadron <laughs> um but i do remember uh I, I do remember it was a big deal and it was it was frowned upon to talk about very quickly on the ship because they just didn't know what they were dealing with um now people that further on have their theories of what they were dealing with and i'm not trying to knock Farva, like he's awesome. Love that dude. Great dude. Like he was a great pilot. It's a great pilot. Um, Still is. That sort of, sorry. Um, I mean, he was. And I mean, the, the pilots of 41 were fantastic. The air wing was fantastic. There's nothing negative to say about any of that. Um, but you can imagine back in, was that 2004 or five, whatever it was, to be saying this stuff. Like, dude, that's you're really hanging it out there, man, especially in naval aviation where it's like, you don't go outside your little, your little window and say things like that. So I give him a lot of credit. Um, Cone as well. She was the, the other one. Um, and, uh, which I'm sure you've seen her interviews as well. And, uh, 
but yeah, it was, there was wow. very, it, it sparked and then quieted down very quickly and was, was moved on. And then that was that. So. Did you see the tapes in real time? No, I did not because I was an E2 pilot and I did not care anything about <laughs> tapes. I cared about my room and working out and Dinner. sliders and that's right. it. yeah well, I didn't let's care get back about to intel tapes well let's see I what mean, the man has to say yeah let's see so what the man has to say about about that hired commander in the united states navy in 2004 i was a commanding officer of strike fighter squadron 41